and the exciting Dominique Wilkins has turned down a cool $5 million offer from the Atlanta Hawks. Five years, $5 million. Neek says, oh, it's a, it's a pretty good start, but uh, me and my agent, we're going to hold out for a little bit more. He said uh, $1 million just doesn't look like that much money down the road. He says, I can't play for that kind of money. <laughs> All right. It's getting real hard to believe all these arrests of Jim Brown, the former great football player, are just mistakes. Once again, last night, Brown, now 50 years old, was arrested for beating up his 22-year-old fiancé. He's faced similar charges at least three times, including a rape charge last year, but there was insufficient evidence. He was being released on bail later on today. Also today, uh, Denver's Leo Garcia, Denver Zephyr's Leo Garcia, was named American Association Player of the Week. A couple of other notes, Jim Kelly will not play tomorrow night for the Buffalo Bills in that Kansas City game. And Tom Landry says, I don't know if I'll play Herschel Walker or not. And we'd like to see him play because, obviously, we've got the game. We want to see him play. But we're going to see a lot of Dorsett, maybe a little bit of Herschel Walker. But I got a feeling the ABC crew, they're going to have some interviews with these guys that you'll want to hear because we know the controversy yeah. that's been stirring down there. Baseball score, Cubs beat the Reds today. Three to two. All right. All so right. So we're going to see the start of the race a little I bit hope, later. I hope we will. Yes. Okay. Paula. Good. The Cowboys haven't actually come running out of the gate. They really haven't. I think a lot of people think they made a mistake in keeping White instead of Hogaboom. Yeah. But Pittsburgh, whoo, and we have to go to Pittsburgh and play there. And we also play Dallas. So We play both of these guys. Yeah. You're going to see two teams right now that are really almost in early season form and we're in preseason so a lot of action tonight uh, with the Steelers and Cowboys two teams which will face the Broncos on down the road in regular season let's take a look at some of the highlights oh yeah there's a highlight for you he didn't even play Herschel Walker he stayed in civvies so there was no controversy at all he watched Tony Dorsett have a rather a good football game for Tony he bolts 22 yards here for the touchdown of course he wants to keep his starting job he says if he loses it he wants to be traded that tied the score 7-7 watch this play Danny White says I'm not going to get hit he just gives up the ball Rick Rick Woods takes it all the way back to the touchdown. There was a lot of plays like this in the football game tonight. Very exciting. Just a blown coverage right here. And Tony Hill, who might be one of the slowest wide receivers in football, used to be one of the fastest, but nobody's near him. He takes it about 70 yards for the score right there. Watch this play. Blocked field goal. The linebacker, Hinkle, he acted like he knew it was coming over there. He's not the fastest guy, but nobody's near him. I mean, it was like a track meet at Texas Stadium tonight between these two football teams. Take a look at Daryl Clack right here, the kid out of Whitefield High in, uh, in uh, Colorado Springs. He went to Arizona State, played some great football, but look who he's behind, Tony Dorsett and Herschel Walker. Now we want to take you to a different football game tonight. It's still going on. The Raiders, look at Mark Wilson. We know how he can lay it up there, and Jesse Hester can run to the football. He brings it in right there. You'll see Wilson drop back here, hit his main man, all-pro tight end Todd Christensen. That game is still being played in the L.A. Coliseum. Take a look at the scoreboard. Pittsburgh, the most points Dallas has given up in preseason since 1975. Final score, 41-28. to Pittsburgh could be a mighty foe this year for the Broncos. The Raiders at halftime lead New England. The Super Bowl team, 17-3, to one of the game going on at the halftime. It's Minnesota and Seattle, and they're tied at 14 apiece. Those are the only three games going on in the NFL tonight.